AI in Action is brought to you by Aulus International, covering your business's staffing, consulting, and networking needs. Our host brings you the leading minds in AI, sharing their story, their success, and their advice. Focusing on fast-tracking you to the top, AI in Action cuts through the hype to help you kickstart your data science career. To listen to the latest AI in Action podcast, head over to www.aldus.com forward slash podcast, or subscribe via iTunes, Stitcher, or Google Podcasts. You're listening to AI in Action. I'm your host, JP Valentine. Our guest today is Amir Sadoi. Amir is the head of engineering at Pinecone. Amir, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. That's our pleasure. So, Amir, let's start with yourself. Can you give a brief background of your journey in tech, uh, where you got started, some of the roles you've held along the way, taking us up to your current position as the head of engineering for Pinecone? Sure. Started my career both interested in machine learning and distributed systems, and that's kind of stayed consistent throughout my career. So I started in financial trading at a proprietary trading firm where we were building algorithms to trade in the equity options markets. And I was there kind of building the machine learning infrastructure and you know, market infrastructure to make that possible. After that, uh, first in, in finance, uh, I realized you know I wanted to go to back to kind of core software um, so I worked on OpenStack at Rackspace. That was the initial attempt at like, Kubernetes back in the day, I would say. Um, so Kubernetes is now like the common infrastructure layer for building a uh, cloud infrastructure. Uh, but yeah, Rackspace working on the public cloud infrastructure there and the cloud networking layer. Um, so working on core distributed systems there. And I moved to New York to uh, work at Amazon at that time, you know, I did a brief stint on the consumer side just because I had been doing enterprise infrastructure. I wanted to get kind of exposure to the consumer technology world. And I realized that I actually was yeah, really in love with the enterprise world because um, I think in the enterprise infrastructure world, you can really work on hard engineering problems and uh, you really become like a, an engineer's engineer, so to speak. So moving to AWS, I worked there with uh, the founder currently now the founder and CEO of Pinecone, uh, Edo Liberty, uh, Amazon SageMaker, building uh, machine learning algorithms uh, at Amazon AI Labs as a tech lead in that group uh, and was there for about three years. And so there, you know, I got, again, the opportunity to work with like scientists and engineers, uh, but also in that enterprise infrastructure layer, building out those machine learning capabilities uh, as part of their kind of core offering. Yeah, I really liked working with Ido, and and when I saw that he left to start Pinecone, I saw that this was an exciting opportunity to get in on the ground floor. And uh, you know, we're an early stage startup, so uh, I joined as the first uh, technical hire there, and uh, we've been you know growing ever since, building now another kind of machine learning infrastructure layer that I'm happy to dive into. Yeah, yeah, please do. So well, thank you for the background of yourself. And I think your background at AWS, then spinning off into a startup with a former colleague who's the, the founder of Pinecone is an interesting path that we've seen so many successful businesses follow. So talk to us about Pinecone. Give us the, the overview of the business, what the mission is for the organization and how data science and machine learning is, is playing a fundamental role in achieving that mission. So we started Pinecone almost a couple of years now. So our core offering is around similarity search. Um, so similarity search uh, has been around a long time. Um, companies have built recommendation systems and semantic search systems to power their applications. Uh, but now deep learning is kind of taking hold as a more rich way of representing the data in the search systems, uh, whether you know, it's Google and Microsoft powering their web search with Bing, with deep learning, or Facebook and Pinterest and LinkedIn or Twitter using deep learning to power their uh, news feeds, you'll see that using deep learning to power these search systems allows for like a richer, richer representation using this approach, what's called vector embeddings to provide you know, better search and recommendations. Uh, and vector embeddings are you know, mathematical representations uh, of these kind of arbitrary objects, whether it's text or images, uh, movies, products, uh, and so on. Um, these vector embeddings help uh, companies perform a better similarity search. So uh, it's very difficult for companies to 
you know, implement this sophisticated similarity search uh, if they don't have these endless resources like the big time tech companies I mentioned that are required to, to build these things. And so folks uh, usually ended up gluing together open source packages or kind of retrofitting legacy search systems to have this capability. And we saw an opportunity to build similarity search as a service from the ground up. So we built Pinecone and you know, there are many uh, applications that you can build uh, with these vector embeddings at the core of similarity search offering. So for example, there's image search, there's semantic search, there's anomaly detection. And now with Pinecone, you can build these all conveniently through an API. You don't have to manage your own infrastructure or operations. We, we take care of that for our customers. Excellent. So it's essentially outsourcing one of the most complex part of machine learning uh, tasks, which many organizations do struggle to bring in-house because of the, the the complexity of the problem. Can you give us some insight then into the journey from the idea behind Pinecone to where you're at now and, and some of the key milestones that stand out to you? I know it's only been uh, since 2019, but I, I know from, from previous conversations, you guys are already seeing a lot of success and huge demand for this. So can you walk us through the journey uh, and what it's been like from the start to, to where we are today? You know, a typical story, I guess, uh, Silicon Valley story is, you know, it started as, you know, hackers in a garage, although I guess uh, in this case, it was like a virtual garage since, you know, everyone's working from home in the <laughs> COVID environment. But that's kind of where we were at. We're just uh, builders that were really excited about this space and, uh, and the opportunity. Um, and so over the last uh, couple of years, we, we built out, um, our, our core offering, which is uh, now available. Uh, if you go to pinecone.io, you can sign up for an API key. And that's been uh, launched since uh, January. We've built out this system, uh, deep technical bench. We're just getting started and ramping up uh, as we see lots more adoption and demand as, as people try to uh, put these kind of more sophisticated similarity search systems into production. To help uh, our listeners visualize how this would would work or sit on top of a tech stack, can you walk us through a, a, an example of a project where you guys have recently implemented this for a customer? The 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 objectives, some of the challenges to to layering this onto a customer's existing platform, and then the 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 impact in terms of accuracy, time saved, and and so on. You can take like a very simple uh, example of your, let's say you're an e-commerce company and you want to uh, recommend products to your customers uh, as they are shopping on your website. So we worked with the team to build out their data science capability. Uh, we built out the initial infrastructure, which is the similarity search, and they provided their expertise from the data science perspective. So our customers are data scientists and have the core capability of build, building machine learning models and they have the domain expertise in their field. So we like to think of ourselves as kind of the infrastructure providers that helps help them do the heavy lifting. And in this scenario, like I mentioned, they wanted to build a product recommendation system. So they have uh, an existing database of millions of products in their product catalog and they have built a deep learning model uh, that they would like to bring into production at scale. So what that looks like is Pinecone indexes vectors uh, natively. So this deep learning model can encode a product into a vector and the vector gets encoded into Pinecone's database. Then uh, you do this for millions of items and now that you have all those vectors, product representations in the Pinecone database, you want to also be able to do these recommendations in real time. So we're talking about on the order of less than, let's say 160 to 100 milliseconds, you're getting these product recommendations as a viewer is going, let's say to their shopping cart page, you get 20 recommendations based on, you know, similar shopping history of other users in the past. Um, so we built out a very low latency, uh, highly accurate, massively scalable distributed search system as an API offering so that this you know, e-commerce retailer could quickly 
get to production on the order of weeks instead of many months of investment. And we continue to accelerate that even further as, uh, uh, as we kind of build on top of, of our core offering. Amir, I'd love to now get your take on the difference in environment of what you've enjoyed uh, from moving from Amazon and AWS, obviously one of the most well-known tech companies on the planet, to now a, a true startup. What has been your experience like? What have you found most interesting and what have you enjoyed since making the switch? Yeah, um, so moving to Pinecone, um, it's been a great learning experience kind of starting the initial team and, and seeing how we've kind of progressed through building out the product and launching the product and now growing the team. Um, you definitely get through like a few stages of, of exponential growth just you know in the last couple of years. And I think we're able to move very quickly uh, as a startup, uh, and you see this, you know, as a team member when you're working on the code or working with a customer or working on operations, um, you you can wear multiple hats and learn very quickly. I think the biggest difference is from like the big company to uh, a startup is that you have way more exposure to all the different parts of the business, and um, you grow a lot more as a result. Excellent. So now I want to get your take on looking ahead for Pinecone. Obviously, exciting times for you. You're building out the theme. Yeah, you and I have spoken previously about the growth expected in 2021 and that the individuals that you're you're going to need to bring on to help Pinecone push forward with this project. Could you give us some insight into the various uh, positions and, and skill sets that you're going to look to add to the team uh, in the year ahead? Currently, uh, Pinecone's still a very small team and we're a very fast growing startup. So we're trying to double the team essentially in, in the next year. I would say there are currently in the engineering uh, department, like uh, three kind of focus areas. So we work on the engine, which is kind of the core uh, indexing of our similarity search system. That's where the rubber meets the road, uh, so to speak. So that's kind of like the low level, high performance, C++ uh, numerical algorithms in that area. Uh, we also have uh, the cloud area, which is uh, distributed systems. So you take the, the engine and you spread it across multiple machines and you do that you know, at scale, uh, make it resilient and fault tolerant. Uh, and you, you do that across you know, multiple cloud providers. Finally, we have the growth focus area, which is working on the product and all the user facing aspects of the product um, because, because we really want to make Pinecone easy to use for our customers. So as we expand, we kind of focus on those three areas uh, to build a more robust offering. Well, Amir, thank you so much for coming on today and talking to us about your background, your work at AWS, your move to Pinecone, and the work you're doing within this space, and some great insight into the growth expected for the year ahead. So we wish you and your team all the best, and we look forward to seeing what you guys can accomplish. So thank you again. Thanks. AI Action is brought to you by Aulus International, covering your business's staffing, consulting, and networking needs. Aulus offer an exec search program. Aulus can help you discover how data science and AI can transform your company. With our unrivaled network of C-suite executives and senior AI professionals, we offer retained search services across the US and Europe. Get the Aulus advantage. Become a member of the Aulus community and enjoy some of the following. AI meetups. Once a month, our community gathers to listen to some of the leading experts in the world of data science and AI. Our speakers come from all over the world, including Dublin, Boston, and Frankfurt. We also have our AI mentors. Our experts will provide mentoring to all its members. And don't forget our AI on Action podcast. Each week, we have guests from all over the world talking us through their education, career, and more. Become an Aldis member and get the Aldis advantage. For more information and to sign up for our newsletter, log on to www.aldis.com. That's www.aldus.com. Aldus International, empowering through AI.